Were Collingwood fortunate, do you think, in scraping home to victory? Well, it'd be a bit unfair to say they were fortunate, but I did think uh, Carlton paid dearly for their inability to uh, really capitalise on the 90% of the play they had in the first half. But I do think that uh, Collingwood could have saved the game a lot earlier than they did by making some moves from the bench. And uh, having said that, Tom Hafey's philosophy is he's loyal to his players and he gives them a chance to prove themselves. But by gee, there was two or three that gave him the loyalty test yesterday. Well, I must go along with Sam, but it's an amazing thing about Collingwood. 16 matches played, they've only lost two and they're sitting two games clear on the top position. They look a certainty to be, well, uh, they could even go to the grand final. They must take a look at themselves, particularly three or four players in that lineup. I counted four names there yesterday. At half time, they had eight kicks between them. And these are big names and getting big money at Collingwood. Can Collingwood afford to keep on playing these guys when they're playing so poorly? But you can't knock the magpies. Two losses after 16 and they're in there fighting again.